All right, ladies and gentlemen, do you remember when we first talked about the Figure O2 robot a few days back? Back then it was just initial excitement and we only had a few details, but now that the full specs are out, it turns out this thing is on another level. Basically, this robot marks a real breakthrough in the world of humanoid robots. And just when you think it couldn't get any crazier, there's news about a new AI robot dentist that performed fully autonomous dental surgery on a live patient with no human assistance whatsoever. It's pretty wild to wrap your head around. Okay, these are some seriously exciting developments, so let me break them down and why they matter so much. First off, folks, let's talk about the design because Figaro 2 is all about business. If you think back to Figaro 1, it had that bulky chrome metal look, almost like it was geared up in armor. And that was pretty cool and all, but the new version has gone for a sleeker, matte black finish that makes it look more like a high-end sports car than something from the medieval era. But the reason for this change is that Figaro 1 was designed to survive endless hours of testing in the lab. So it was built tough. But now, Figaro 2 is getting closer to a production-ready model, and they've refined everything to make it look and move like something you'd actually expect to see on a factory floor. Pretty cool stuff. Now guys, one of the major upgrades they made with Figaro 2 is in the cabling department, because in Figaro 1, the wires were pretty much everywhere and intentionally left exposed for quick fixes and adjustments during the testing phase. But with Figaro 2, everything's neatly tucked away inside the limbs. I mean, this not only gives it a much cleaner look, but it also protects the cables from the environment. And it's a crucial improvement if these robots are going to be pulling long shifts in a factory setting. And speaking of long hours, they seriously upgraded the battery because Figaro 2 now boasts a battery that provides over 50% more energy than the first model. And the battery is smartly integrated into the torso, which helps bring the robot's center of mass closer to the middle of its body. This design tweak gives Figaro 2 better balance and agility and makes it more efficient when moving around and performing tasks. Now folks, I want to talk about the tech that really sets this robot apart. First up, the hands. Figaro 2 is equipped with hands that have 16 degrees of freedom and allow it to move its fingers and wrist with a flexibility that's nearly on par with a human hand. Now these hands aren't just for show because they pack some serious power since the robot can carry up to 25 kilograms, which is about 55 pounds. And that's, well, you know, a significant jump from Figaro 1, which could only manage 20 kilograms. I think the aim here is for the robot to handle objects just like a human would, and they're getting impressively close to achieving that. But it's not just about strength, folks, because it's also about intelligence. Figaro 2 comes equipped with six onboard cameras that give it a full 360-degree view of its surroundings, and these cameras feed into a vision language model that helps the robot understand exactly what it's seeing. So whether it's picking up objects, dodging obstacles, or simply navigating its environment, Figaro 2 can handle it all on its own. And I do believe it represents a huge step forward in autonomy, made possible through a partnership with OpenAI. And speaking of OpenAI, folks, one of the most impressive features of Figaro 2 is its ability to understand and respond to voice commands. You might recall seeing some videos earlier this year where the robot was chatting with humans through speech. Hey, Figure 1, what do you see right now? I see a red apple on a plate in the center of the table, a drying rack with cups and a plate, and you standing nearby with your hand on the table. Well, they've seriously leveled up from there, because the new model packs three times the computational power and AI inference capabilities compared to Figaro 1. This upgrade means it can process information and carry out tasks much faster and more efficiently. And this voice interaction isn't just about basic commands because Figaro 2 can actually engage in conversations thanks to onboard microphones and speakers linked to custom AI models developed with OpenAI. I mean, you can literally talk to this robot like you would with a coworker, and it'll get what you're saying and respond accordingly. Do you think the dishes in front of you go next? The dishes on the table, like that plate and cup, are likely to go into the drying rack next. It's like having a conversation with ChatGPT, but instead of just text, you've got a full-on humanoid robot standing in front of you, ready to get the job done. Now, the real game changer here is that it isn't just some lab experiment anymore, because Figure AI has partnered with BMW, and they've already developed these robots in a plant in South Carolina. They've been testing how well the robot can handle tasks in a real industrial environment, and the results, folks, are pretty promising. 
This isn't just a flashy tech demo, guys, because this robot is out there, learning and performing tasks in an actual factory setting. Now, Figure AI is clearly on a mission to make humanoid robots a reality in the near future because they've secured a massive $675 million in funding to keep the momentum going, and they're simply not slowing down. I mean, with competitors like Tesla's Optimus and Boston Dynamics Atlas also in the race, we're on the verge of seeing these robots transition from the lab to the production floor on a large scale. So if you thought humanoid robots were still something out of science fiction, think again. This is only going to get more exciting from here. All righty, folks, get this now. Something absolutely groundbreaking just happened in the world of AI and robotics because for the first time, a robot has successfully performed autonomous surgery on a live patient. We're talking about a robot dentist that can independently carry out certain dental procedures with no human hands required. This is a huge deal and could completely revolutionize how we think about healthcare and AI. Well, picture this, lower costs, no more long waiting times since we could essentially produce as many of these robots as needed and possibly even better service than what we're currently used to. And who knows, we might eventually have our own AI-powered dentist robots at home. It might seem a bit out there, but with this breakthrough, it's not as far-fetched as it used to be. The company leading this innovation is Perceptive, and they've been developing this technology for a while. What they've created is a robot that merges AI, 3D imaging, and robotics to perform dental procedures, like placing crowns. Normally, getting a crown would mean two separate dentist visits, with each appointment taking at least an hour. But with Perspective's robot, the whole process can be done in just 15 minutes. Just think about how much time and hassle that could save. Here's how it all works. The robot uses a process called 3D volumetric data analysis to diagnose the issue and plan the treatment. Then it starts with an OCT scan, optical coherence technology, using a handheld interaural scanner that Perceptive developed. This scan is incredibly detailed, folks, because it captures 3D images that go beneath the gum line, through fluids, and even under the surface of the tooth. And the best part, the whole process doesn't expose the patient to any ionizing radiation, unlike traditional x-rays. But scanning is just the beginning. Perceptor's AI algorithms take that 3D data and convert it into a precise surgical plan. The result is impressive because we're talking about a robot that can diagnose and treat dental issues with an accuracy rating of over 90%. That's not only highly efficient, but also significantly reduces the chance of human error. Plus, the detailed images from the scan allow patients to actually see and understand what's happening with their teeth, which is a pretty neat bonus. Now, folks, the big question is, is this just a futuristic concept or could we actually see it in action anytime soon? Well, the truth is, it's going to take some time. Perceptive's robot has already performed a fully autonomous dental procedure on a patient in Colombia, but it's not quite ready for widespread use yet. The system still needs to get approval from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA, before it can be rolled out on a larger scale. According to Perceptive CEO Chris Cello, we're probably looking at about five years before they get the FDA green light. But the potential here is massive. Perceptive has already secured $30 million in funding with some major backers, including Dr. Edward Zuckerberg, Mark Zuckerberg's dad. He's a dentist himself and strong advocate of this technology. Dr. Zuckerberg even pointed out that the robot is designed to operate safely even if the patient moves during the procedure, which is a big deal when you're dealing with something as precise as dental surgery. So guys, basically, if Perceptive's robot gets the green light from the FDA, we could be on the brink of a new era in dental care. One where robots handle routine procedures quickly, efficiently, and with minimal human involvement. I mean, this shift could free up dentists to focus on more complex cases and allow them to see more patients in less time, ultimately raising the overall quality of care. But, of course, Perceptive will need to back up their claims with peer-reviewed studies proving that their robot is as safe and effective as they say it is. Then there's the question of public perception. Are people really ready to trust a robot with something as personal as their dental care? I'm not so sure, but, you know, I'm, I'd be prepared to give it a try. Whether you find it exciting or a little unsettling, there's no denying that the future of healthcare is going to look a lot different and a lot more robotic, that you can be sure of.
That said, folks, let me know in the comments what you think about this robotic revolution and leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you found this all interesting. See you in the next one, folks. You all take care.